Hey guys, it's JP, and this is the first video in the 1700 rating climb for uh, Elite Chess Rapid Time Control. Um, let's see how we do. This is going to be a long grind, and um, it's been a minute. So for the 1600 series, I did more post-game analyses, and I'm going to experiment again with the live games, just for content's sake. All right, so we're, we're in it, and um, let's see what's, what Black's got. Still got our London. Looks like he might be going for a King's Indian. Although this pawn being advanced is uh, not typical. Let's play... See, if I push this pawn up, then I can't double and trade this off, which is what I like to do. I think... Fuck it. So, when black does play a king's Indian, the knight goes to c3. When the when he doesn't play king's Indian, I, want, I usually want my knight on d2. But even if he doesn't play the king's Indian, I don't think this is that bad. This is uh, like the Jobava setup. Okay. So something um, to notice. You can't just trade this off right away because this knight is still here. So you have to sort of wait until this knight moves. And uh, one of the main lines is to play this move, but black already has d5. Usually he plays d6 in this king's Indian, Or this is more like a pyrrhic since this pawn's already moved. Um... Take our other knight out. Really, I guess I um, what would have been even better is this move. Okay, knight's out, and now. I could do this trade thing. He might advance this pawn, but this isn't that good for him. I should have played this because then he would he would have either had to leave the bishop there, push his f pawn, or retreat his bishop. If he pushes the f pawn, I induce a weakness. If he leaves his bishop there, I take it and accomplish what I wanted to anyway. And if he retreats his bishop, then I would have taken the rook. But now what I'm threatening is to put my bishop here and trade off his best defending piece. Best best minor piece in any case. I sort of have a feeling he's going to play this move. <clears throat> All right, maybe not. Okay. I don't even. I don't think this line is is the greatest and the most accurate, but um, it is very principled. I want to get rid of this piece. It's his best minor piece. So, what I would like to do is uh, find concrete answers how I should be playing this Jovava every time. I'm just going to go ahead and take. Um, so normally I want to castle long. Can 
Can I start an attack? I need to get rid of this too. To do something with my bishop. Let's castle. I think I want to open this up so I can put my bishop on the c4. Well, bishop here or here might not be that bad. I'm just saying. I'm sure, I understand that move. Maybe let's align this up. Complete our development, do something with our last minor piece, connect our rooks. Remember I had a game in the Jobava when I was very close to 1600. I was like, if I had won the game, I would have been like 1597 or something. I got into time trouble. I was ahead, and I hung back rank mate. So let's not do that this game. We have to be winning in this. Check it out. We are. I already move, removed one of Black's defenders. Um, the dark square bishop. So he has this weakness with the advanced cheap pawn. His queen is over here, which I suppose is good from an attacking perspective. But if I pawn storm and he pawn storms, I have the safer king. I think. So bishop here. Um, I could remove the bishop with tempo. If the bishop goes here, I could play this move, which moves the bishop with tempo again. And then I could play uh, g5, which moves the knight with tempo. That's one option. I could also develop my last minor piece, break this pin. That seems slow. Let's keep the initiative. Really, he's, well, he's not sacrificing. He double, he's doubling my pawns. He's 
doubling my pawns. I think we continue the pawn storm. most likely if I take he's gonna retake and then there's no I have an open F file this is supported if he takes like this I have an open G file and that's terrible for him really bad Okay. I want to get rid of this. He has this temporary activity move. I could always swing my queen back. I wanted to redirect this knight. Because I want to put my bishop on this diagonal. because he's guarding this twice. And if I put my bishop there first, my knight's kind of stuck. So I'm slowly working on an, an attack is what I'm doing. Now, do I want to trade this off? Probably not. Well, his knight is so much better than my bishop, I feel like. Well, I mean... His knight is better than my bishop. And then... I don't think I have to recapture that right away, or at all. Putting a pawn right here seems really annoying for him. Because if I put a pawn, he if I put a pawn on e5, this guy is dislodged. Can't go here because I'll take. Maybe I do this first. This seems quicker. Yeah, this pushing the H pawn I, I kinda like. Especially because if I if I play this, he could play this. 
Mm-hmm. Do you have to be careful of this pawn? Because if I move my queen off this diagonal, um, I would probably have to play b3 and induce a weakness on my uh, queen side where my king is. So I'm threatening this. Oh, he has he has h five. That's annoying. H five is annoying. I'll probably have to take. So if I put a rook here and I move my queen. I would pin this pawn to the king, and I could double take, and then he could move forward, and then I'd play b5. I'd have a weakness, but I think he would have a greater weakness. And part of the reason why h5 is viable is because of um, him doubling my pawns earlier. His best move has to be h5 here. And if he doesn't play it, then me playing h5 is uh, very strong. I have... He has two defenders. Okay. So if he takes with the pawn... I don't have to recapture right away. I feel like I need a rook here. I'm debating whether to play rook g1 or to push. If I play rook g1, He has the chance to play this. Take, take. I'm just down. Just down a knight, and this is still closed. If I play h5 now, and he takes, I can take. The only way he could retake is with his. Uh, G pawn. And if he pushes, then I just take. Yeah, I want this G file open. It's got to be too slow.
I think I want a pawn here. I'm gonna go for the attack. I don't wanna waste time. Don't wanna waste time. Oh, that was a misclick. That was a misclick. <sighs> Yeah, I, d I did not mean to do that at all. These pawns are fucking blocking my cock right now. If I play this, I could swing I could swing my queen over with check. And if he comes over here to defend, I play it anyway cuz if he takes, I just retake. See, if he takes, I just come over. I'm not afraid of that. Dislodge the knight. I actually don't really like dislodging the knight. I just protects here. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> He'll probably retake like this. Whatever he does, I'm threatening here. This is protected by this pawn. He'd be crazy to recapture with the G pawn. Having two open files against him. He'd be insane to do that. That I calculated. I could just use this pawn as a shield. I want to play this first so I could do this with tempo. Okay, so he's threatening this, which is checkmate. But if I play here, His only move is this. And then I could checkmate, right? Check, king back, checkmate.
I don't see a way for him to defend. Mate. <sighs> that was nice. That I, It was the difference of one tempo. Um, I, I calculated I would be able to survive this, and I calculated that this was forced mate. Um, so I think I'll, th I'll probably just do one game per video for this climb, uh, at least with the rapid, since these are, uh, these are long games, the, the, you know, they could be easily over half an hour. Um, look at the analysis a little bit. It says, uh, he says he had to play this, which... I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I'm still plus four, which is nice. I get so dislodging the knight. Oh, and that's a nasty check. Because then I have this. And then it's unclear. I mean, I have time to take this. Um, so if he played the best move and swung his rook over, I had this sequence that would have dislodged the knight and displaced the king back to the center of the board. I would have been able to recapture this dangerous pawn on the second rank. And, um, what's the material? Pieces are even. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Six pawns to six pawns, but my pieces are better coordinated for an attack. Especially considering this can't move. Um, why isn't... I'm just going to... So I'll play this. I want to see what Stockfish thinks of this. Oh, because the king is moved, then it's not good. See, if the king didn't move, I bet... It's still not a move. What? I guess it... No, it doesn't because it's defended. Okay, never mind. I'm, not, I'm just going <laughs> to stop it right there. But the, So the, then it would have been uh, it would have been a very interesting position where white is better, but, um, you know, it still takes work to, to win this. So thank you guys for watching. And... Um, Stay tuned for more. We're, we're climbing all the way up to 1700. And then some.